email chain. So, Andre, are we doing this interview? Andre replies, Yes, Lucas, and I promise I will keep my violent fantasies at bay. I was really shocked when I read this reply to Andre that Andre wrote me. I will be able to explain this, what that meant, a little bit later. But apparently, this promised a juicy conversation between the two of us. Now, when you hear the word conversation, do you imagine rather something ordinary you have every day, or do you imagine something unique or special? I think we can have it both ways. We can have conversation such as a cheeseburger from Stanek in Václavské náměstí. As well, we can have conversations that's like the legend burger from basement restaurant with pineapple sauce and cheddar cheese and gouda and smoked bacon with a little pinch of apples. We can really have both. The thing is what kind of conversations you set up for. As I'm writing a blog and at some point I realize that even though I might have some interesting ideas, there, the amount of my ideas is limited, so I decided, okay, so how about me interview interesting people that are around me? So I started doing interviews. Now the difference between having just a normal conversation and having an interview is, if you have a conversation with a friend and in the end you realize it was terribly boring, it's fine because nobody will find out. But if you want to transcribe the conversation, you want other people to read it, you really should be focused on making that conversation rather juicy. Now, the question is, how do you do that? And especially when that person you'll be talking to is maybe not your, your best friend or person you know, you've known for years. So I did, I did a little research and I came to one answer that was quite simple and that took just some preparation. It's so-called 100 questions method. It's applied from one famous journalist. His name is Neil Strauss. He wrote a book about how to pick up girls. That's not important now. He, what he did, it's, it's a method, how, you, how he prepares for his interviews. And he knows his, he knows his sub, the subject, and he thinks about a person. He really writes down 100 questions. Now, why is it important? Apparently, if you are interviewing somebody for 90 minutes, there is no chance you will use all of them. But the main idea is your, your curiosity gets so overwhelming that the conversation will be dynamic from the beginning to the end. Because you have so much to ask that you know all the time in the world will not be enough. And this is exactly what I did preparing for the interview with Andre. So first, I already had some ideas about him in my mind. I've known him, I worked, prepared one workshop with him, and I know he was a nice guy. So the first thing that came to my mind, he is so nice. He's so nice, maybe, maybe he's too nice. Maybe there's something weird about how nice he is. I want to ask him, well, why is he so nice? What's behind all that? Then I came a couple of more questions, and I ended around question 21, all these I could think of. So I, then I went hardcore. I started stalking his Facebook profile. <laughs> I took a look and said, look, there is a YouTube video of Andre. I clicked and there was Andre playing electric guitar, killing me softly and another girl singing along with him. Now that was interesting because I didn't know he was that good. And he was really good, but where does he take time? He's doing Toastmasters, he's a master trainer at Dale Carnegie Institute, by the way. Where does he take time? With this approach, so in just this timeline, I got to question around 54, there was still 46 to go. And then I went brutal. On Facebook, there is this site that I think nobody uses anymore, it's likes. Everything, over all his Facebook history, whatever the things Andre liked. And there, were, there was really some funky stuff. So for example, <laughs> he liked cricket, and he's not from India. How the hell somebody who's not from India could like cricket? Why? How the hell? Another thing, he liked the writer Haruki Murakami. I, write, I like him as well. He's the writer who writes you know, about cats falling down from the sky and being put into freezer. And this is really weird. And it, at, the, at the moment, at the moment, I, our Skype conversation, I was like, you know, I was like, 
curious man on steroids. I just wanted to grab every, every single answer from him. And those 90 minutes were definitely too little because when we were finishing our interview, I knew I could use five more hours. And he told about how he actually was not that nice all his life, how he had to turn that he was, a, and he was arrogant and self-centered and then he has this evil tiger inside himself. And he also spoke about this, with how guitar means in his life, how it makes him relaxed. But all these things he was able to tell only because I, or I believe, because I was so curious, I really wanted to find out about them, even though we did not know each other that well. So we ended the interview and I thought, well, good, this is going to be very nice for the people who will be reading this, because that was the main reason why I wanted to make the conversation juicy in the first place. And then I stopped for a moment and I realized, well, isn't that a bit weird? If you think about the conversation with, uh, with a close friend and you think about how you know, how you make it interesting for everyone else. So I just thought, I just thought, what if? What if we treat every conversation that we have, every lunch date, or every time we take a friend for a coffee, if we take it, how we can make it a great time for that person? What are these 100 questions that I would like to ask this friend of mine that I do not know about? And maybe that would make us learn much more, both for the people we haven't known so much about yet, also for the people that we thought we knew so much about, but we did not. For the violent fantasies, after a couple of seconds, I realized where this was coming from. The first email, when I asked Andre about the interview, I sent the link. I forgot what that was under the link, and it was this interview that made by this guy, whose name was Neil Strauss. And the title of the interview was Violent Fantasies of Lady Gaga. So Andre just made a joke about the reference. And I think it's another way how to make your conversations really juicy is when you really listen to what the other person is saying. And this way, if you continue, I believe that every conversation that you might have will be a little bit better. Madam Master.